I wish I could just pull you through the screen and let you smell it. I love all the history. So happy with it. See whether we should take her to casual too. It's very painful. <laughs> and welcome to another episode of Carpool Karaoke. Joke, we value your ears. <laughs> a massive thank you to everybody who sent me birthday wishes. I had the best day ever and got some really unbelievable gifts that I'm so excited to use. One of them which is on the camera right now is the tripod that Danny got me. And also since he got me some baking stuff, I need to just kind of finalize my little kitsch so that I can really get into the baking full swing. We had initially planned today to actually have a picnic. We were gonna make up our picnic basket and go and have it in the sunshine, but of course, Ireland decided to happen today. It lashed down this morning, so change of plan. Weather man light was last night. I'll just, I'll just have that known. I also want to pick up a few bits for my bullet journal. I kind of tried to do it freehand last week and I was a little bit disappointed with the result because obviously I'm not fantastic at art. So I'm gonna cheat a little bit and get some stencils. Enough of my rambling, my five minute intros. I really hope you enjoy today's video. Any home bakers out there would literally die in this shop. Die, look at this. So much baking things. So this is what I'm after exactly for my quiche today. I don't have any use for a three-in-one vegetable peeler. However, I feel like I need it. I have similarly no use for a pineapple cutter. However, I feel like I need one. Guys, a vegetable scrubber, please. Do I need a tiny measuring jug? Absolutely. I'm a gimmick lover. I think we can see a pattern emerging here. So I'm gonna take myself my fluted quiche pan and go to the till. <laughs> Alright guys, just popped into a garden centre. It's so windy today. I'm actually looking for a really cute little potted plant that I can put on my desk in my bedroom that I can look at while I am writing my dissertation. It's a little bit bland staring at the wall all day so I really want to look for something that's cute that's going to last and doesn't require a lot of minding because I'm not very good at keeping things alive. All right, I picked up a little plant from my little vase at home and I want you to guess which one I got before I show you. <laughs> what flower do you think I am, everybody? Yay! In typical Irish fashion, the sun decided to come out as we were on our way home from town. So we just popped into Altamount Gardens. I'm looking forward to this because the last time we were here, they were actually renovating the entire house, so we didn't get a chance to see what was actually going on. But it looks like they've done an absolutely stunning job. That's the house there in the background, but we are going to walk in and around it. Oh, what I wouldn't do to get my hand on that land for some horses. <laughs> it's gorgeous, isn't it? I love these old houses. I love all the history. Mama was just pointing out that the windows are still all old on this place. They haven't actually renovated the windows. You know, you can see that they've done some new pipe work down the side here and there's obviously some new electrical work done. But I want to find a plaque that gives us some history about the place because it is so, so pretty. It was 1871, just up above the window. It has kind of uh, Alice in Wonderland vibes. <gasps> Sunflowers, apples. This is just gorgeous. The bees are everywhere. Can you hear them? I do wish I could explain how this garden smells. It's so florally scented and so stunning. I don't know how to even convey that. I wish I could just pull you through the screen and let you smell it. <gasps> oh my gosh, I've stumbled across a vegetable garden. We have onions, and I'm not sure what that is. Are they probably cabbage? Cabbage. But yeah, I should have mentioned, we're having some issues with rabbits in our garden. Big, huge bunny rabbits. And we're not complaining because we absolutely love them, but we are concerned that if we do set up our vegetable patch, it, we're basically just gonna be feeding the rabbits. So we're kind of getting some ideas as to what we can do, and we were initially just going to scrap it all together and maybe put together like, a small inside greenhouse. But now looking at this, it's given me some hope that we might actually be able to establish something outside and keep the rabbits away. What I love what they've done here, I, I don't know if it's clear on camera, but you can actually see that there's some mesh that would obviously prevent little pests from coming in. If anybody has any tips on keeping rabbits out of your garden naturally and away from your plants, leave them down below. We obviously don't want to harm them because we do love them. I have to admit, I'm slightly taken aback by the work that they've done here since we were here the last time. It's absolutely stunning how they've done it up and there's now a little cafe and you can buy plants here. I think you could always buy plants here but it's just so nicely done now. Hello Mr. B. Would you like to come and live in my garden? We can hear the buzz of the bees as we're walking around and I'm so curious to find out the names of flowers so that we might be able to get some, pop them in our garden before we get our bees. We already have some uh, plants in the garden that already attract a ton of bees but it would be nice to get some more. If you see the bees, don't kill the bees. The bees are good, 
As far as I know, wasps are the crazy ones. But we like bumblebees, we like the honeybees. They're so important. If you don't know anything about bees, just do a quick Google search and you'll kind of realize how important bees are to life on Earth. Be nice to the bees. And the pond is so covered in lily pads. This is kind of reminding me of Pandora. Ma'am, you saw Avatar, haven't you? I did, yeah. Look up and doesn't that remind you of Pandora? Oh, yeah. Isn't it lovely? If you haven't seen Avatar, go and watch it. This is so similar to the trees in Pandora. <laughs> Where are you, Mammy? Mam? Jella? I can hear a small voice, but I can't see her. Can anybody guess right, ma'am? Uh, I don't know. Me and my sunflower! Which does not fit in this, which is a shame. But I'm going to find a little home and pop it up on my desk so that when I'm writing my dissertation, I have something cute to look at. Five to eight at night the quiche is gone in the oven I've been cooking this thing now for about two hours don't let anybody tell you that making a quiche is a two-minute job it's literally taking the longest time to cook it better be bloody delicious do I just uh, slide it off or just lift it up yeah but I mean in terms of like getting it off the tray yeah slide it Woo, okay let's bring it over to the table and see what it cuts like Mary will be proud <laughs> just popped it on the table here everybody and I have to say I'm quite pleased with it. I have a little bit of extra pastry on the top because I kind of messed it up on this side and I didn't want to overfill it too much so that it spilled out and the pastry went all soggy along the bottom. But the pastry is really, really good. I'm so happy with it. I think Mary and Paul will be pleased. So there's no meat in this. It's completely meat free. Just a little side salad to go with it. I'm gonna throw some balsamic vinegar on it. Happy mommy? Happy mommy. <laughs> well, needless to say, that went down very well. <laughs> I feel no shame. The rest of the night I think I'm going to spend reading 13 Reasons Why. I'm absolutely loving it so far. If you've seen the Netflix series, I think you'd really enjoy this. There's also a couple of bullet journal pages downstairs with my name on it. Without any more blathering, I will say good night. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. I had such fun just bopping around and doing some normal things today and not doing anything crazy. The hair is up and I am da -da 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 done for the day. Please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and hit subscribe if you haven't already done so. I would love to see you back again. I will talk to you in my next video. Bye. And here's Sinead after falling off a chair. We're just waiting for the doctors to ring us back to see whether we should take her to casualty or not. I love the initiative that my mother takes. I didn't even ask her to pick up the camera and she just did. <laughs> <laughs> She's in terrible pain, wouldn't you think? I really am. I'm on, a, I'm on about a seven to ten. All right, everybody, it's the next morning. I tried to sleep on that arm, but unfortunately the pain didn't go away. And I can't decipher if there is a fracture on it or not. It's definitely not broken in any sense of the word. It hasn't like split in half or anything like that. So we're just not sure if it's a bad bang, a bruise, a tendon, whatever it is. We're going to go down and get it checked out anyway. Hopefully it's not broken. Really, that's the last thing I need because I have plenty of running and training and gymming and baking to be doing. But we'll see. I'll keep you updated. Okay, everybody. So I've been home a couple of hours now and I completely forgot to even give you an update on the situation with the arm. So I'll read out what the hospital wrote down on the sheet for me. I have a right wrist scapuloid injury. No fracture. So that's good. It's not broken. They don't think. They couldn't see one on the x-ray. So they advised me to book an appointment for two weeks time to go back and get it checked to see if there is a fracture that did not show up on the x-ray because of where the scapuloid is located. It's like underneath your thumb area. Anybody who's into medical stuff, feel free to correct me. It's very, very painful. It's very painful. <laughs> but I am taking paracetamol and taking plenty of painkillers. The nurses said there was no problem with me continuing to go to the gym as long as I didn't lift anything heavier than a cup of tea in this hand for the next couple of weeks. So it's put a dampener on things a little bit. I can still do most things. It's just a little bit sore at the moment, a little bit tender. So I'm hoping that's gonna die down over the next few days. I literally, I am a complete disgrace. I haven't even been able to get in the shower today. But I did want to give you that little update and thank you to everybody who sent me messages on Instagram and Twitter already. I will be getting back to you this evening as soon as I get this vlog up for you. So I will say goodbye to you again. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Out.